Hey there, y'all. Going to be opening up some 1987 Opeachy Hockey Leader Mini Cards. Five cards per pack. There's only 42 cards per in the, in the entire set here. Definitely fun mini cards. Uh, if you're looking at PSA values, the best one, of course, is the Gretzky, just like just about every uh, year from this time period, no matter what the make, mark, brand, or anything like that was, Gretzky was the king. He was the great one. Outside of that, uh, Patrick Ra, 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 R, O, Y. Uh, and the Marc Messier holds some value. Of course, the Lemieux does as well. Um, these are much more, I guess, fun cards. I don't recall ever seeing them uh, back in 1987. Uh, I may have seen them uh, sometime afterwards in a card shop or a card show and just didn't even pay them any mind. I, I had a chance to grab some, uh, grab the box of them and uh, been having a goof going through them, that's for sure. Uh, another video I've done on these before, uh, definitely had some nice things in them. Anyway, we'll get started uh, as I'm starting. I just want to say thanks again for all subscribers, thumbs up, likes, even dislikes. Um, I, I appreciate all the interaction. It's been fun so far. Definitely having a blast doing this. All right. And uh, <laughs> having a blast, you can't do better than a, a Lemieux starting off. I'm going to frapper that up. Dan Bertome. And y'all can correct me if I mispronounce these names. Uh, if you can find a way to correct me, uh, hockey's not my first language. I'm much more of a baseball person, football person, Al McKinnis, and Yari Curry. And I, I'd say growing up, hockey was probably number three for me. Uh, baseball, football, and then hockey. I was really never all that much into basketball. I paid attention somewhat. Uh, being born and raised in New York, you can't help but pay it being you know, paying attention somewhat to basketball. We had the Knicks, the Nets. But I, I can't say that I paid nearly as much attention to my Yankees, uh, the crosstown rivals, the Mets, uh, the Giants and the Jets, of course. And hockey, yeah, I didn't really pay all that much attention to except uh, knowing about Gretzky and Lindros a few years later. Uh Everybody was waiting for him to come up, but everybody knew Gretzky no matter where. Uh, you were always reading about him in the newspapers or hearing about him on the news. He scored this, he scored that, he did this, he did that. He was the golden boy. All right, we got Brad McCrimmon, Christian Rue. That's like, I don't know, did they, I don't know. He's got too many U's there, followed by double T's. That's very odd. Larry Murphy, Al McKinnis again, and Paul Reinhardt. Okay, it's Reinhardt, not Elkhart. Elkhart's the place over in Indiana. Interesting place. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they make trailers there or something similar. I used to pass through Elkhart, Indiana, and made it a point to make it a, make us make a stop there. Uh, there was a lot of. Uh, truck traffic that would stop in there so a lot of late night meals back a couple of years ago when i was going back and forth between jersey and wisconsin all right we got patch that's a nice hit that's a very nice one i will definitely frapper that bad boy up dave pauline joe mullen glenn hanlon and tomas sandstrom so let's get that frappered. If I can figure out which end these are. I wonder how the centering works on these. I got to find that out maybe a bit later. Because that, that could be a nice card. Corners are nice. Edges are nice. I'll take that under the scope later and just get a better feel for it. But sometimes uh, if you could find yourself a nice PSA 10 on any of these. Uh, it wouldn't be a bad thing to, to flip it for whatever, 100, 150 bucks uh, on the Patrick Raw. Raw. I'm just going to raw like a lion here. Wouldn't be bad. Uh, I mean, I don't necessarily care if it's in my personal collection. I'll definitely put together a set of these uh, just to have it on the shelf. But being able to get one that's resaleable. 
uh, to somebody that would appreciate it more than me, especially in a in one of those PSA or SGC bricks. Uh, not a bad thing, especially since it'll help me buy more cards. Got Glenn Anderson, Brian Perup. Another Lemieux. Lemieux, Mew. Mark Howe. How? How? I don't know. And Doug Jarvis. All right, we'll get another Lemieux frappered up. There we go. All right, got pack number five going here. Waiting to pull a Gretzky hit. See what pack number five holds. I will say that the wrappers on these are really brittle. I'm glad they didn't have gum because I, I guarantee there'd be nasty gum damage. As brittle as the as the plastic is, Joe Mullen, Michel Goulet, Tomas Sandstrom, Tim Kerr, and Ron Hextall. So we move on really quickly to the next pack. And this is the final of six. See, in small little baby packs like this, it's easy to get through them really quickly. All right, we got Brian Benning, Ron Hextall again, Craig Muni, Glenn Anderson, and Phil Housley. And that's it with six. So... Three good hits, I'd say. Let me know your thoughts down below. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bon glout.